and welcome back to a new video on my channel. My name is Sarah and today I'm back with another Sims 4 speed build and today's build is going to be a really cool um, loft build. So while I was browsing through TikTok I've seen this really cool tutorial on how to build like a loft bed where you put like a room underneath that is actually usable and I thought I would try it. So as you can see in the video I built this little platform um, in this room which is like one by three tiles high and I used the highest wall size so um, that everything fits and then um, I picked out a bed that I like. Um, it took me some time as you can see I'm um, very picky when it comes to like beds and then I just um, lift up the bed with a 9 key on the keyboard. Um, if you like activate bb.move objects you can lift items with a 9 key on your keyboard and I lift the bed and as you can see it's usable now and I also got rid of the ladder and I will put a um, stairs there because I thought it would look a lot better and then I just placed some half walls around it so um, that I create like a small room next to it and that's pretty much all I do for this tutorial and um, the rest is all like decoration. If it doesn't work for you just try to move the bed a little bit around like um, to find like the sweet spot where your sim is still able to use it. You can see me like testing it out a couple of times during the video um, so I can make sure the bed is functional and um, yeah it, it works pretty well and um, all you have to do now is to decorate it and to create a room around it and I thought it was just a cool idea so I decided to put like a little study area underneath um, so you can really make a use out of your space if you have like smaller spaces in your house and um, yeah still make it functional and yeah I really like how it looks I decided to go for like a bright white color scheme on the um, on the room with a lot of like bright wood textures and I personally really like um, to use that and um, yeah it took me some time to figure out everything um, with the windows and all that stuff and I didn't really know how to fill like the complete room so I decided to add like a little kitchen area there as well so if you want to use it you can pretty much use it as like a living like a completely living space but you would probably have to add a bathroom because I didn't add a bathroom um, but yeah, you can pretty much do everything or anything out of this room if you like to. I will try to upload it to the gallery and I know I didn't upload my last build to the gallery. I'm so sorry. I really forgot about it, but I will do that as soon as I'm finished with this voiceover. Um, the unicorn saloon that I built with a new expansion pack. Um, and I also didn't do a lot of videos with the new expansion pack. I have to be honest. I'm not really liking it. So I usually don't give a lot of my opinion on the expansion packs because I don't think my opinion is really helpful because I don't really um, use the gameplay aspect of most of the expansion packs. I only like use the build mode because that's the main thing I do in The Sims 4. So I don't think my opinion is like really helping. But from the, like, the horse wrench pack, I'm really disappointed. I don't think it's the like the amount of stuff is like enough for an expansion pack it just feels like a game pack to me personally and i don't feel really ex um, inspired to build like a farm or ranch or something because it just all feels so familiar to me like um i don't think it's that long ago that we got the farm expansion pack i don't forgot the name like the the country living thing i just always forget the names of the <laughs> of the packs and I don't know I don't want to build like the a farm for the millionth time I don't know I just don't feel in inspired I don't know how to put it into words but um, I might do some stuff with the new pack in the future as you can see I used the carpet from the new pack I think it's really pretty there are a lot of very pretty color options and of course like the base game update with the ceiling um, painting options that's really really cool but um, for now I don't think I'm gonna do a specific horse wrench build um, soon 
I don't know, I just don't really feel it. I was thinking about doing like a Barbie themed build because I've seen a lot of people do that because of the Barbie movie that just came out or is going to come out soon. I don't know, I think I think it just came out and I'm personally, I really like building Barbie stuff because it's just so much fun to like go crazy with all the pink colors. I think it's just such a great idea. So may I might do that. I feel like that would be something I would like to do um, in the nearest future. But for the horse ranch, I really like the horses. They are so cute. I like the animations. And I also re started recently playing a little bit um, The Sims. So I thought I would just make a use of everything that I have and start playing for myself. And um, got into use the university gameplay, which was also not that great, to be honest. But I like um, the idea of my sim going to university. I think that's fun. Um, yeah, but um, back to the build. Um, I hope you like it. I also used like some of the book nook kit stuff. I feel like I haven't done that in any of my builds because I didn't really like keep track of all the kits and all that stuff that we got. I just don't know. I sometimes I just I'm just a little bit over it and. Um, forget about it to be honest because I'm not that excited about kits in general because they are usually pretty small but the book no kit has a lot of cute items like the um, pictures for the walls they are really cool and like more modern and I think that just fits really well um, into this build I went for a like gray and white color scheme and some yellow and blue accents I think that just works um, really well together and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you like this build. I thought it would be a cute short video. Um, I like the idea of the loft bed. Um, I've seen it on TikTok. I forgot it. Um, yeah, just sometimes you just keep scrolling through TikTok and then you see something and you remember it two days later and you totally forgot who did that. So I'm, I did not invent this. I think I've seen a lot of people do that in the past so I thought it would be a cool idea and if you want to try it yourself it's pretty easy as you saw in the beginning of the video and yeah I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and I also hope I will see you in my next video I hope and I also hope you have a great day and goodbye